Uh, in this recording, we're going to work on a house, and this is actually a house on WSSU, or not a house, a building structure. And what we're going to do is go ahead and go into the uh, front view, and I'm going to hit view, image plane, import image, and pull this over, and I have a folder called house that everyone should have. I've got so much stuff on my desktop, and I am going to do front, hit OK and make sure your attribute editor you'll click on right here and make sure this is 3030 uh, for the size width and height is 3030 so that looks good alright <clears throat> I'll go ahead and minimize that I'm going to go ahead and go to my side view and do the same thing view import image and go down to my house again uh, house and I think we want side for actually for side. So I've got it backwards. But anyways, hit open. And again, go to your attribute editor, this far left one, and make sure it's 30-30 so it lines up. All right. So what we're going to do is let's leave that open. I guess I'm going to have to squeeze this. So we're going to go into perspective view. And you can see there are definitely two different sizes. Uh, we can go ahead and knock this down to 15 by 15. They should have lined up. I'm not sure why they're not lining up, but anyways, just numerically knock this down to the same height. I'm going to do 14 by 14. Enter. All right, looks like uh, they're meeting up. We may go 13, 13. All right. I think it was better at 14, 14. All right, so we're going to do 14 by 14. And again, this is just kind of a to help us construct our building. All right, so I'm going to get out of that perimeter so I can have a little bit more room. All right, so basically I'm going to go ahead and turn off the grid because it's annoying. I'm going to go ahead and create a polygon cube. And probably go to top view for this and go ahead and create your cube go back to perspective I mean you can do it in any way so I hit 5 I'm going to go ahead and size it with R and like so hit W pull it down hit R so basically what I'm trying to do is get these edges to match up because I know it's that long alright and I'm going to go over here, hit R, all right, and then I'll pull this down, W, get the, the base of it to sit right on the base, right here, then right click face, grab the top here, and pull it up to the top. All right, so that's the parameters of our uh, building structure. <clears throat> all right, so we're going to go ahead and start uh, modeling it. I hit 4 so I can see inside of it. So one of the things I'm going to do is go ahead and go to Polygon, Edit Mesh, go ahead and rip that off, and I'm going to do the Insert Edge Loop Tool. Go ahead and select that, and I know you can see the, the roof line there. Go ahead and click that, uh, circle around, and then there's a, also a second roof line, like so. And also on the very bottom, I've got this going all the way around, like so. All right. So it looks good. So I'll go back to my selection tool so I can select my faces, and I'm going to do some extrusions. All right. So I'm going to go to actually front view so I can grab them all. I'm going to do a marquee, select all of them, like so, and hit extrude. I hit R, and you notice the building goes out just a little bit. All right, so that's good. You can see that it's going out just a little bit. So now I'm going to go back and just select the top faces, extrude again. Hit R, squeeze this out, and if I hit 5, you can start to see it starting to shape a building. All right, so we're going to do the same for the bottom, except instead of squeezing out we're going to actually squeeze in 
Alright, so we extrude. Go back to my perspective. I'm going to hit R and squeeze this in. Alright, simple as that. Alright, I'm going to do one more. <clears throat> and what we're going to do now is do the front entrance. So I probably need to look here. And I'm going to get my split insert edge loop tool right here. Go ahead and split here and split here. And then I'm going to get my selection tool so I'm not still uh, extruding or splitting. So I hit here. Go ahead and select both sides. And you'll see in your perspective that it'll, it should select both sides when you do a marquee. We're going to hit extrude. And go ahead and push them both in at the same time. And if I hit 5, you can see You can see the the doorway. All right. On the next recording, I'm going to go ahead and do the windows. All right. <clears throat> 